Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Hey, so yesterday was Father's Day and today I am back to cooking. This is a cabinet that is in my um, kitchen and it's kind of like an overflow uh, for things that won't fit in my pantry. And so even though I just finished a two month pantry challenge, which ended at the end of February, there's still quite a bit of stuff in here. So all this week, I'm gonna concentrate on using stuff that's in this cabinet because I really need this space for like kitchenware and things like that. So for every meal that I make this week, I'm gonna try to use up something from this cabinet and I'll show you what I've used from the cabinet at each and every meal. Well, for dinner, sorry, not each and every meal. Hey guys, so Howard and I are at a Jamaican restaurant that he really likes. And so this is his plate. As you can see, it is smoking hot. He's got oxtail, rice and peas, and cabbage. It also has some other vegetables in there. And then this is my plate. I got callaloo, which kind of reminds me of like, um, like mustard or turnip greens. It's kind of a mild flavor greens with other vegetables in there. I've also got rice and peas, and then I have stew chicken. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am using up this box of macaroni and cheese from HEB, and then I am going to grill some chicken. Normally, Howard does all the grilling in our house, but he likes to use the gas grill and I prefer the charcoal grill. So I'm using this um, two-in-one marinating set that I picked up from Aldi a few weeks ago. Right here, this chicken, I'm using the buttery poultry blend. And on this chicken right here, I'm using this Asian barbecue rub that I picked up from Kroger on clearance. Um, a few weeks ago, I recorded a haul on that, but I really like this marinating um, set. This is a really, really hard plastic, and it's big enough to where I was able to marinate um, both flavors of chicken in the same dish and not worry about the flavors spilling over from the other dish. And then this is the, um, like the, the tray part, I guess. So this is what it is. So the bottom part is more of a, it's a deeper pan. And then this top part is once you take the meat off the grill, you have somewhere to put it. And again, they're both really hard plastic and you can use this as a lid to cover it up. And I think it was like $9.99, but I went to my Aldi recently and they still had some in my store and I love this thing. Okay, so here's the, the chicken just cooking away. I just moved it off of direct heat and now I'm going to close the lid and uh, finish cooking this over in direct heat. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. Here is the mac and cheese and then we have some stir fried green beans and the chicken. So this one is that uh, buttery chicken or buttery poultry and then the one in the back is the Asian. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Okay, so for dinner tonight, I am using up this butter and herb rice mix from my um, cabinet. Um, in my freezer, I had the smoked sausage. I'm using one packet of the golden onion soup, and then I'm using this grapeseed oil to make like a smoked sausage sheet pan type of meal, but I'm using a nine by 13 casserole dish threw some stuff that I needed to use up in my fridge in there. So I've got the sausage. I have sweet potato that I parboiled. I've got some button mushrooms, um, white onion, and then I um, halved some mushrooms as well. Poured the oil in, sprinkled this packet in. Now I'm just gonna pop it into the oven um, until those vegetables are nice and tender. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. I ended up baking 
um, the mill for about an hour. I wanted it to get a little brown, so it took about an hour to do that, but I baked it at 350. If you bumped up the temperature to about 400, I'm sure it would have been um, a lot quicker. And then if you're wondering what the difference is between golden onion soup and the onion soup mix, the onion soup mix, I was looking at the ingredients, has soy sauce in it, try to focus. And then the, um, un the golden onion, excuse me, does not have soy sauce in it, but it has a chicken powder. So it's milder in flavor and not as beefy to me um, as just the traditional onion soup. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having jerk short ribs. I had some um, short ribs in my freezer that when I bought them, I marinated them in this jerk marinade, Walker's Wood, spicy. Um, and so Howard threw those on the grill. From my cabinet, we are having this pastaroni and it is right here. And then I am serving it with some buttered corn. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we're gonna be having some frozen Asian food. And so I don't really have anything in my cabinet that I can use. So I decided to make these muffins for breakfast today. Um, chocolate chocolate chip and cinnamon sugar. Each packet makes six standard size muffins, but I decided to make them in jumbo muffin tin. So I got three out of each flavor. Howard um, doesn't really like chocolate muffins, so I made those for me. The cinnamon sugar is for him. And uh, see you guys later for uh, later on for dinner. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having frozen Asian food. I have this stuff in my freezer. So I made some dumplings and some fried rice. So the dumplings are from Kroger. I picked them up a while ago. My Kroger recently started selling these and more, I guess, authentic Asian food. So trying these out for the very first time. Also having this chicken fried rice from Aldi for the very first time. Picked it up on a recent um, Aldi haul. And it does come with a lot of vegetables. It comes with edamame. We don't care for edamame, so I did pull it out. And it comes with a lot of carrots too. I actually pulled some carrots out as well. But if you'd like a really veggie forward fried rice, this is definitely for you. I don't really care for it. I think I'll stick to my Trader Joe's and my Baby Go fried rice. Um, the Aldi version comes with this liquid seasoning that you're supposed to put into it. But I felt like it would make the rice super mushy. And so it, I had to really fry this rice for a very long time in order to get that water and mushiness out. And I don't usually have to do that with the Bibby Go or the Trader Joe. So I'll just, and it doesn't have a lot of flavor to me either. So I'll just stick with the other brands. But this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Okay, so it's the end of the week and wanted to show you all what my cabinet looks like now. Um, definitely have made some progress, but still have a long way to go. I am hoping by the end of summer that all of this is cleaned out. So thank you so much for watching our What's for Dinners this week. If you all enjoyed this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.